Have you heard of file transfer? Of course you have. You have to get data from here to there and vice versa. Everyone has to do it, but you have to make sure it's done securely. So what do you do for secure file transfer? You use vShell. vShell is a full-featured SSH2 server specializing in secure file transfer for Windows and various Unix platforms. vShell primarily supports the SFTP and SCP file transfer protocols. And vShell also has an add-on for FTPS file transfers using TLS. In addition to secure file transfer, vShell provides command shell access, remote execution, and port forwarding or tunneling capabilities. You can learn more about the SSH2 protocol and its security features in our Secure Shell white paper. So why do you use vShell? Well, ideally, your server-side secure file transfer solution is easy to set up, provides you with strong authentication methods to control who gets in, allows you to control where they can go and what they can see, shows you who's doing what right now, shows you who did what when, and saves you time and effort through its automation capabilities. vShell is everything you see here. vShell provides easy setup and configuration through the vShell control panel. Once installed, the vShell secure file transfer service can be started and connectivity testing can begin. The configuration categories in the vShell control panel are intuitive and provide you control over who gets in, what they can do, and where they can go. To control who gets in, you allow logon permissions to only those users and groups you authorize for authentication using built-in local and domain Windows accounts. You control the strength of your authentication requirements, determining which authentication methods are allowed and even forcing one or more authentication methods. For example, two-factor authentication can be achieved by requiring both password-based and public key authentication methods. After determining who gets in, you can limit the functionality each user account can utilize. For a secure file transfer server configuration, allow only SCP and SFTP protocols. If you have the FTPS version of eShell installed, the FTPS protocol can also be allowed. After you've enabled file transfer access for the desired user or group, use vShell's virtual roots configuration category to control where they can go on the file system and what they can do with files and directories. As your clients and business partners begin connecting and accessing those resources you've made available to them, you might want to see what's going on with your server right now. The vShell monitor shows you who's doing what right now. The monitor also allows you to manually close connections to free up resources for higher priority connections. As with many file transfer environments, your organization may be required to keep track of historical file transfer activity for auditing requirements or troubleshooting purposes. vShell's logging capabilities allow you to control what information gets logged where, whether to a file, the Windows event log, or even to a syslog server of your own choosing. While log files and live monitoring of vShell provide valuable information, you have more to do than continuously hover over vShell's monitor or endlessly parse log files for interesting information. So, you set up vShell triggers to automatically take action when specific events occur. Here are just two examples. Set up an email notification for whenever a failed authentication occurs, or automatically move a file to another SFTP server as soon as it's been successfully transferred to vShell. These are only a few of the reasons why you use vShell and there's more to discover. If you're just now learning about vShell and have questions about its capabilities and benefits, we encourage you to contact our technical support team during your evaluation. We listen.